Do you sure. want me to hold it? Sure. It's heavy. Thanks. What's up, everybody? <laughs> so today, I decided we're just going to vlog our day. Joshua and I are both pretty much going to be home. Might run out and do a couple fun little errands later. But I wanted to vlog today especially because we have a new couch that we're assembling today. Or more so that Joshua will be assembling today. I've mentioned this in a couple videos. Our couches have literally turned into dog beds. <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> and it's super rainy and gloomy out today. So the dogs are just gonna be wet all day. We're gonna move this couch to the basement. Yeah. And that's where me and the dogs are gonna hang out. <laughs> that's where you're gonna be all day. <laughs> so we're probably gonna do a little time lapse of putting this couch together. This is an Ikea couch. We'll give you guys a good little review about it, but I have two other sofas that are on its way here from West Elm. West Elm shipping, I do have to say for furniture, takes forever. Like our dining room table took a few months. Like it was kind of ridiculous. So we got those really nice couches for the other room, but I didn't really want to spend a ton of money on a sofa for this room too, especially because I'm not even sure what's going to really happen with the dogs and stuff. So, not sure if we're training them to stay off the couches. I don't know. This one, it's a very dark gray color. It's called the The Mill Sofa. I'll try to leave it linked down below. But yeah, we're going to do a little time lapse, get this thing put together, and we'll bring you along for the rest of the day. So we got adult Legos going on here. I got to figure out what's what and where it goes. Or the direction. Questions. Hey everybody, I'm just going to... Which gonna... side of this is going in the front, you know? Uh, whichever side you want. Just flip it and I'll make it happen. Mm -hmm. This couch is one of the easiest IKEA things I've put together. The only thing I don't like is that the covers, they always take really long. That's my part of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. See you next time. <laughs> This couch is uh, T-minus five minutes from being finished. Um, I might have to steam it a tiny bit, like on these edges. I which know. means I have to take the entire thing apart. There's already a dog hair on it. That does not mean he has to take the entire thing <laughs> apart. All okay, right, here you go. Which side? Whatever, you pick. Whatever, there we go. Ooh, I really like it. Like super modern. You know what we, you know what we need to do, Abigail. What? We should probably go to like Home Goods or Target and get some throw pillows. What do you think? Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I like it. Okay, let's move it into place. I think if you got like. <laughs> okay, seriously though, look at this. Now you guys tell me if we're gonna be able to train the dogs <laughs> to not get on this. Look at just the happiest dogs in the world. They love their sofa so much. Oh, they're so sweet. But this sofa is so disgusting now because of them. <laughs> and that's not the only reason I wanted to get this sofa. 
Another reason why I wanted to get this sofa too is just because it's a little bit more modern. This one isn't super modern looking. And I didn't want a cream couch anymore. Get down. Come on. Come on. Come on, get down. He's like, I know what you're and it. doing. Get down. Come on. And you tooted. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the arm of this. This is a, yeah. It's a disaster. We just washed this, the cover. And yeah. this was just from because it's been raining for three years. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought. We can move that one over here now. <laughs> Look at the dogs. Oh my god. Guys, we're not. We're I've here. never seen them so attached to the couch before. <laughs> They're holding on for dear life. Oh okay, boys. Don't worry. We're just going to put the couch right here for now. Come on, boys. Come. Come on. Go, boys. the center of the rug, I believe. You haven't even sat on it yet. I haven't. Ooh. Don't even think about no. it. No. That's your couch over there. <laughs> Go to your dirty couch. Over there. Over there. <laughs> he wants up so bad. No. <laughs> Don't give me those eyes. <laughs> Don't. I want to. No. No. Oh my word. Okay, so what do you think? How does it it's feel? Nice. I like the arm. Yeah, it's stepped on, dude. Like. It's definitely more modern looking than the other one. But I do notice I need to take my steamer and kind of now, steam out some of this is stuff. Is it a napping couch? Oh yeah, that's that's the big tester. Could you nap? <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> You're so pitiful. This is an. Yeah, I like how low it is to the ground. Because then I can pet dude. So Josh was eating some lunch right now, but. Like you guys saw, we got the couch all put together. So I thought, well, he's eating, because we're about to run a couple errands, maybe get some throw pillows or something for the new sofa. But while he's eating, I thought it would take you guys kind of around these two rooms, the dining room and this living room, and kind of share with you guys just a little bit of like some home decor updates or kind of what I'm thinking I want to do for this room, because you guys are always really helpful in the comments with your opinions and kind of helping me uh, make decisions on things. But I've also been getting a lot of questions about a couple things too that I wanted to answer. First, right here in the dining room, I did do a little update a little bit in my home goods video. So this is new right here, this little piece of art. I love it because it's in like this acrylic box thing. I just think it's really cool and I got it on clearance. In that video, I also showed these little glass jars. So I'm still looking for something to go on the top of this bar cart. I'm thinking maybe something black to just kind of tie in the table and the curtain rods. Now I've been getting a lot of questions re recently about the curtains and this chandelier. So I'm gonna leave everything linked down below again for you guys. It was in my last home updates video. This chandelier I got from Wayfair. It's really, really affordable. I've had my eye on one really similar from Restoration Hardware for years, but it's like thousands of dollars and this one was like maybe a couple hundred bucks. The curtains are from Ikea and they're called the Tibost or Tibist 
it's always really hard to pronounce Ikea stuff, but they're really, really nice quality. I love them. And then the curtain rods up there are from Amazon. And I just got another pack of curtains for each side of this big window right here because before I only had one pack of curtains um, on each side, so it definitely needed like another curtain. So you guys can tell there's like, maybe you can't tell, there's like two sets of them up here, which looks really nice. And then all of those clips are from Amazon too, so I'll link those. I'm thinking about doing the clips on these ones too, but I still need to hem the curtains and everything, but that's just something I've been dreading doing. That's our box for my Ikea cups that I need to throw away. And then anybody that's been wondering about the runner and then this little thing, this is from Target, I'll link that. And then all of this stuff is from Kirkland's. And I love it. For this room, we have vaulted ceilings in here. And what I've been thinking about doing before we got the couch put together was maybe do like some shelving on each side. I'll insert a picture of the one from CB2 that I've been dying to have. It's white. It also has some storage at the bottom too. It's really, really nice, but it's super expensive. I thought that would be nice too because I don't really have room in here for like a china cabinet or anything. So I thought if I wanted to put like any china in those cabinets or something, that would be kind of nice for storage. And then the shelves are like really, really tall. They're like 96 inches. So they'd probably go up the size of the curtain rod. So I was thinking about doing like one on either side, but now that I see the couch here, I'm not sure that it would be like, it, I don't know. It just might be a little cramped. But then in the middle, I'm thinking about doing like a piece of art, like one big piece of art, or maybe something super, super neutral. And then up here, cause we have that little shelf thing, shelf ledge or whatever. I was thinking about just doing like some white picture frames up there, maybe layering them or something. Joshua was talking about doing like a big clock, but I don't know. So not sure if this plant's gonna work in here, the give thanks stuff. That's probably gonna eventually go, but I probably need to get some side tables. I also really need to clean this rug. This rug is from Home Goods. I've said it said it a bunch of times. I know at my parents' house they have a rug cleaner, and I think I should really use it on this rug, um, just because it just is very very dull and dirty looking now. So yeah. Anyway, that's kind of my plan for these two rooms. Still got to get artwork for over here. And I did find some on Etsy. Some of you were suggesting to me to look on Etsy. So I looked on Etsy. Um, that's why I have those green little tapes up there. Because I was kind of just seeing for size. But I don't know. It's, it's really hard to like make decisions about that kind of stuff. But we'll see. <laughs> and here's the boys still on their couch. So I'm excited, but you guys give me any suggestions you might have, especially for like each side of here. Um, really not sure what to do, but I love this sofa. I also kind of would like a different rug in this room, maybe just something a little more modern, cleaner lines, maybe something not so light colored too, something that I wouldn't mind if it you know what I mean? Just because with the dogs, it's really hard to keep things clean. So that's all. Okay, just made it to Target, and I thought I had a return here, but I don't ever return at Hobby Lobby. I showed these, I don't know if you guys can see them, they're like those little hay sticks, I don't know what they're called. Oh, pompous grass, I think that's what they're, they're called. But I got those from Hobby Lobby, and in that video I showed you guys, they just didn't work. So I'm gonna return those today, but we're running into Target right now, I wanna see if I can find some nice throw pillows or something to go on the new sofa. 
make it look nice and I'll bring you guys along. Looking at a bunch of throw pillows. These are just the fall ones and then they have a whole nother aisle of other pillows, but not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Um, I'll show you guys in the other aisle too, but I was thinking maybe even like these chunky knit ones would be fine for all winter long, maybe. But this color, like this velvet is really cool. And all indoor toss pillows and throw blankets are all 10% off. So thank goodness I came on the right day. But they have so many good things today. Like, oh my goodness, I'm freaking out. These are like my bar stools in my kitchen. And now they have like a dining chair. These are Project 62. And then look at these stools. Cutest thing ever. Don't know where I would put it, but I feel like I need it. They're so cute. Is that too, like, whoa, pop of orange with that? No, I think that's perfect for fall. What about if I just did, like, a lot of white? Ugh. I really like the orange. Really? Yeah. There's a bunch of pillows in here, too. I really like this one right here, but I also really like the ones that I have in my hand. Got a few really cute pillows from Target, so I hope when I see them on the couch that I still like them. So Joshua just had to go into the UPS store because he has an Amazon return to make. I also need to send out my giveaway winner's gift card today. I actually have like packing tape on it too because I get really paranoid, like especially when I'm sending a gift card or something that's gonna get stolen or something. So gotta send that out today too. So make sure that you guys keep a lookout for more giveaways because I'm going to be doing more. So, also, we are going to Hobby Lobby next because I'm going to try to return the pompous grass. But I looked for like 30 minutes for my receipt and couldn't find it anywhere. Okay, here comes Joshua. So, I was looking at all the candlestick holders. I found these and I thought these might work for the bar cart area because I like that they're black but they still look really sleek in modern. I'm not really sure what could go next to it, but I thought these were nice. I think they might be 50% off. Hmm. Let's see. Hi, boys. Sorry, we didn't get anything for you. No, that's not for you. Hi, dude. Oh, they want me to pet them and my hands are full. All right, so Let's test out, see if these pillows are gonna work. So I think I like this, but I gotta figure out something to do on each side of the couch. So either like those wall shelves or maybe not. I don't even know if there's enough room for them now, but I need to get like some little side tables, coffee table. I wanna change out the rug in here, move this to the other room, get something for the wall. So yeah, gotta do that. And then I was thinking about, I'll insert a picture. There's some little leather chairs that I was thinking would look cute across from this couch and do them like over here, like two of them, not have that in here. So that's kind of my ideas, but I think the pillows look nice. I mean, at least this orangey color for fall is fun. I have to, they only had one of these in store. So I'm gonna order one more of those online, but I think it looks cute for now. Okay, I'm going to show you guys everything else I ended up getting when we were out. I really didn't get that much. So you guys saw all the pillows. And then I didn't get anything else at Target. But they had a lot of really cute things. I need to go back and do like a shop with me video. Ooh, and maybe that's where all our next little giveaway will be. Um, Joshua found this. He's a big candle guy. Um, he found this candle at Hobby Lobby. It's the Wickology. So the inside, the wick, it like flickers, kind of like a fire. And it makes like a cool sound. 
This was 50% off. I think it was like $8. So we got that. And then I was able to do my return. And then I got some more of these. For Christmas, I got these. Oh, they're shedding everywhere. Oh. Okay. These little dangly things were 50% off. And I saw that they had them today. And they didn't have them last time I was at Hobby Lobby. So I decided to grab them today. 50% off. I already have some of these for my Christmas tree. But they make it look so beautiful. It just looks like beautiful icicles hanging down from the tree. So I'm getting really excited about decorating for Christmas. But I didn't really take you guys around Hobby Lobby too much because I was just there a couple weeks ago and not too much has changed in store. So if you guys missed that video, it'll be linked. Um, I'll link it down below. It'll probably be linked up here somewhere too. But I'll link it down below so you guys can check that out. I went with my friend and we had a really fun time. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. This little half zip fleece thing that I've been wearing today. It's actually pretty chilly and like rainy out today. This is going to be in my Walmart clothing haul that I'm going to be doing. I recently found so many cute things at Walmart, but I got two of these. I got it in this cream color and I got a green color, which keep a look out for the fall so you guys can see it. But I think it's really, really cute. And it was $10 even. And they had a bunch of colors, like really pretty colors. But I just got like this and then the olive green, which I think is really nice. So 10 bucks, I ended up getting a medium in mine because I didn't want it to be like fitted or anything. I just kind of wanted it to be like this. So if I can find this online, I'm going to leave that link down below too. But it will be in my Walmart clothing haul as well or check out your local Walmart store. So I'm going to get dinner started here in a little bit. But the dogs are just going crazy right now if you guys hear them. But I think I'm just going to chill for a little bit because we've been out for a long time today. I'm going to edit on my laptop, hang out, and then I'll get dinner started. going to sit on the couch for like 30 minutes and then make dinner and then I just got lost in the online world of rugs. I was working, editing on some stuff and then just got real carried away. Now it's 8 30 so we're probably just gonna eat something really light for dinner tonight. I really wasn't even that hungry. But I'm gonna go change, get into some comfy clothes, wash my face, get ready for bed. We might watch a TV show and then I'm just going to go to sleep. So I thought right now would be a good time to just end this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. A lot of you have been asking me to just vlog like a regular day in our life and just vlog more. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please click the thumbs up button down below. It really helps let me know. And also if you comment and let me know too, that very helpful also if you guys know of any good rugs or home decor anything that you think would look good with this new sofa let me know you can even message me on instagram or something but i really do like this sofa and i totally totally suggest it it's actually really comfortable it's really big i really like it if you guys do like these vlogs then maybe we'll continue to do that kind of stuff on my channel it was actually pretty fun to do i enjoyed it and I know a lot of you have asked me about doing Vlogmas before. And maybe if we start vlogging, I'll do Vlogmas this year. That would be kind of crazy, huh? So, yeah. Subscribe. I already said give it a thumbs up. But subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. I am going to be doing a few more giveaways too throughout the month of October. My one that I talked about in my home goods video, that one already ended. But, yeah. Hope you guys are having a great week. Just kind of babbling on now because I'm probably tired. So, yeah, I will see you really soon in my next video.